welcome back. Look what I'm doing. Another trip. I know it's been the while, but too long. Well, let's get on. Let's talk about it. All right. Well, I have been itching like a person with bad case of poison oak to go camping. I've been waiting so long, and the weather's been so horrible. And I got all my sweet gear to test out how it's going to work. So finally, I got some days off. I got Brian going with me. I'm all packed. I know these directions on my tank bag are not where I'm going. Uh, we're actually just going to go up to San Simeon, just an overnight camping trip. It's going to be kind of one of the, the lower campgrounds where there's uh, close to the beach. And um, it's going to be rainy and windy tonight like 20 mile an hour winds and rainy but screw it i want to go camping i'm going to go regardless i think uh brian's got a little bit of doubt due to the weather but it's a southerly wind we're going to be on the north side of a nice wall of trees so hopefully it won't be too bad windy wise hey guess what a one night overnight we get wet come on we're not that far from home so i'm going over to brian's now Hopefully, uh, hopefully he's not convinced that he doesn't want to go. Because we gotta go. But I am set up, ready to go, kind of minimalist gear. I got my fire stuff I'm bringing. Oh, I'm breathe some fire, which I have yet to do. Um, anyway, I'm super, super excited about this trip. And I really hope that we pull this. Wow, all right, well, we're ready to go. Brian's got his bike all ready and packed up. I'm all good to go. We're gonna head to the gas station, head up the coast, and go camping to um, San Simeon. All right, heading out Los Osos Valley Road to go to Turi Road. I love this song. There's a gap right up there. I want to see about um, highlighting it. Would be sweet. Now we don't have the microphones on. Oh, he's taking a picture. How cool is that? <laughs> right on, man. So we're going up to Turi Road, <laughs> uh, which is just a really cool ride. A uh, short little road up to Bayosos. I think that's what it's called. Up through Morro Bay, then we're gonna head up north through Cayucas, and then um, what's that? Harmony, then Cambria, then San Simeon, and then we'll hit the uh, the campground. All right. We are on the coast, heading up Highway One. I think it's Highway One, Pacific Coast Highway. We got a green light. Good to go. All right, sweet. Yeah. Uh, Brian was fixing his neck gator thing to keep him, his neck warm in the cool coastal breeze. And we're just about to get a glimpse of the ocean for the first time. At least that I'm paying attention. Right around this corner. Alright, look at the ocean. Beautiful. Looking back at Morro Bay back there. Oh, wow. Coming around the corner to the exposure of uh, Cayucas. Wonderful Cayucas. Yeah, good paragliding up on that slope up there. We are fueled up with all the supplies we need. Next stop we're going to go to is the uh, campsite. We're in the north part of Cambria right now. We're going to go through this. Uh, we're going to finish with this. <laughs> then we're going to go to San Simeon. And just north of that is our campsite. We're not too far away. I don't know why I got gas, but we're all topped up just in case. Adiarrede. All right, let's do this. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. A lot of people come out here and visit the West Coast. It is a beautiful part of the West Coast, the central part of the West Coast of California. Finally got our campsite, all right, number one. 114. 
chose it for a couple of reasons. One, good trees. A lot of trees all over the place. A couple downsides is the lowness. <laughs> you see how this whole area is a flat depression. It's nice and flat, but when it rains, the water we're feeling is probably going to collect here a bit. So this might become a bit of a, of a mud puddle tomorrow. So it doesn't look too, too bad, potentially, but you got some good potential for tree hanging, like with these trees here, here. If I set up a slack line going across here to here. And yes, some, not really much of a, of a leaved canopy to protect us from the rain, but that'll help a little bit. Now we have our fire pit, very tall, and our picnic table. So how are we gonna manage this? If it is raining, we're gonna set up a tarp right up here in this tree at an angle so we can sit and chill by the fire. And the fire is out into the air, not burning our tarp. All right, camp is coming together. Brian just got his under quilt set up there. Yep, his set up there. Mine is set up over here. Still working on getting everything settled. Let's put some stakes in the ground. We got a little speaker up there. Listen to some music. All right, getting it set up. up at Salmon Creek, just north of Ragged Point. Nice pretty windy road. Right down on the coast. Uh, we just came around the corner down here. We opened up to this playground of flipping boulders and rocks. And there's water going down a stream down here. We're going to waterfalls up there somewhere, but look at the the cool boulders here. I see how big they are. Really walking against them. Look at this tree branch. It's laying kind of sideways, laid over this rock here. It's kind of cool. We're going to go down through here, closer to the water. You see it? Get a bit. Right down there, I got some more. Before. Walk a little closer and I hear some water to the right of me. As I pan right, I go up. You see that? That is a waterfall. That's about a thousand gallons. A lot of flipping water, yeah. Here. Hey. Look at that. Look. Massive rocks everywhere. Ferns growing. Very lush. You can see this little spray of mist coming off. If the sun were out, it would be a rainbow. So cool. Very slippery rocks. They're all like smooth jade. The crystal clear water. The waterfall there behind us. And yeah, I want to get that wide angle out of sitting underneath this massive, massive rock. Brian just went down to this cave. He just disappeared. There he is. That's him compared to this huge, huge rock. <laughs> Heading back. What's this? Trail? Yeah, the high trail. <laughs> oh no, I'm no, just doing a little uh, video selfie here. Thank you, though. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, we're going to head back to uh, the bikes, get back before sunset, kind of get our fire going, get all settled in, and get ready. But this place is very cool. You know, Brian's never seen it this much water. I guess because it's been raining so good, we got a lot of water. We'll see you back at camp. All right, well, we got back home, back to the campsite. 
Let it up, came to the beach. The ocean's way out there. And we can't quite get across this little inland river. It doesn't quite connect. So we're gonna go sit and chill at this little uh, log serpent thing. Got some poi. We got a camera. We might have a little fun. Stick around. <laughs> kind of settled in, kind of chilling. Got the fire going real nice. We got a little, uh, let me see this back here. A little tarp kind of over our stuff in case it rains. Gonna get a little fire stuff going. Can't really see this, the rest of the camp. We got all our stuff under the tarps getting ready for rain. I'm gonna get uh, some poi fire going, if you can see our little fuel station. We're gonna have some fun. All right, stick around. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Just made it back from our uh, journey. It's still raining a little bit. I'm just gonna unpack and uh, get everything hung up and dried. I think everything survived. It's just a little wet. But um, wow, what a cool adventure. All the things we did. Thank you so much for watching. We will uh, do this again many, many, many more times. So have a good one. Thanks for watching Ride with Hartley.